What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Free Around, this time of episode 22. Super excited for today, I think we'll be having a bit more of a calm episode because these last three episodes have been frantic and absolutely amazing, some of the best episodes of the series so far and uh, that's the first test of the first class major, um, first class mage exam, not major, uh, <laughs> over and done with. I'm um, looking forward to seeing what we've got for this second one but again I'm expecting a bit more of a chill episode, hopefully we might see Stark today as it has been a little while but do let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section, leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. Oh, I'll just uh, reset the timer quickly and we'll get right into it. All our favourites making it through of course, I uh, love that Denken just fist fought his way here <laughs> for a spot in the next round. Uh, as I said, all of our favourites making it through. Good to see. Free around putting on a light show. Dismissed. I did see that they released a new trailer for this second part of the season. I haven't actually watched it yet, but not sure if I'm going to. might spoil a few things. And there's only six episodes left, so. Yeah. I found it quite interesting. Again, there's only been six episodes. Why they why they'd release their part two trailer now? I guess we can look forward to some more very hype events coming up. I did mention last week, are they going to... Keep the teams the same, or we're going to switch them up, or maybe people go solo at some point in this test. I got well, you got to imagine that's going to be the case. That might be for the last exam. Perhaps they go solo. Last test, should I say? Yeah, there's the scene from last week. Got a nice bit of backstory last week as well, didn't we, with Free Ren and um I always forget the name of this person, but the the blonde elf. Seri, I think. Future enemies. The swallow in. How's it been, Stark? How's it been? It's been a long time. Hey, that was some pretty loud bags. <laughs> the look of disappointment. They were some angry bangs. Would the food would the food still be the same? Maybe it's like family passed down recipes and stuff. Hopefully then. Ah, uh, that works it.
Well, it worked out. It's like a bit of bonding for all the teams. <laughs> you don't know how to succeed in life. Yeah, definitely. Good idea getting on the good side of people. So uh, I'm taking it that maybe the groups won't stay the same. Either way, I think it's good. Maybe that's maybe that's part of the exam in a way. Not just, not just to get into for pe multiple people to be. Uh, I was exterminated is a terrible word, but <laughs> exterminated early um, to to get knocked out. So you, instead of one person like getting knocked out, you knock out three at a time. Um, I think it, it, it's a helpful exam in that term because it does again knock out a lot of people. But also, I think it's maybe for the benefit of uh, the the majors that it gives them a chance if they're good majors to actually make relationships with their team members and maybe work together going forward even not as a team just as individuals kind of work together and um that gives them an advantage over people that don't want to work together with other people like lictor here so i think uh, again that's actually the way it's designed in a way can't imagine ferns group would be like that <laughs> but um, uh, so again i think it's actually good for them to kind of bond out of work hours, we'll say, like this. Oh, bloody adverts, my dude. I also assume we're maybe going to see a few groups meet that aren't together, if you know what I'm saying. Like, we might see Rear End's group of Stark and Fern see uh, Denken or Co out on a meal, for example, or something. That'd be pretty interesting. I was gonna say, what happens if you kill someone outside the exam? What what happens if she she kills all the other entrants in their sleep? She just become a first class mage, or would they actually kind of just arrest her <laughs> or whatever? Okay. So is that what she's trying to achieve here? Can't imagine she'd empathise with him, but we don't really know much about him at all. Just demeanor wise. I don't know if they match. Um, kids. That that sounds pretty impressive to me. 
He's got potential. Also, though, that goes against her a little bit because she has to empathize with someone. It's not many people as messed up as she is. It's not as many people that are going to let her empathize with them as there. She hasn't exactly, she's not exactly the softest or nicest person to talk to. She's very suspect. Everyone, you've got to imagine you'd always be on guard around her. So, kind of works against her in a way like that. Yep, I called it. Although I'm pretty sure we did see this in the trailers. <laughs> sure is the team that beat you. Omurais. Oh my god. Just beef. <laughs> That's nice to see a fan like that. That's a lot of meat. And it looks like she had the same thing back there. Yeah, mentioned that earlier as well. Seems like it's a bit of generational recipes. You do you usually find that with kind of small restaurants and such, don't you? That's why they're usually some of the best. True, true. <clears throat> You can't, baby. That was touching my flavors. How does it taste for you, right? It changed. Yeah, it did. Inevitably so. Is it bad though? Ah, nice. Well, like, will will that old <laughs> will the old uh, cook be happy to hear that? I think so. Culinary stuff is that kind of always that search for improvement, isn't it? Every fuck is here, Jesus. Everyone. Bro, there wasn't any dramas. Oh, look at her. <laughs> look at her, man. Ah, dude. Oh, well. It was worth it. It's worth it for that smile right there. Isn't this Brooke? Isn't that Brooke's voice actor right there? I like his voice actor. It's got that classical sound, doesn't it?
Oh, really? The day after? But hopefully this is not a thing where she, she knows that she's going to get <laughs> treated. Ah, oh, I see. So she was actually genuinely pissed off again. Another thing is though, someone's got to be this way, haven't they? If everyone's like, f like free around and start, then we might not ever get anything accomplished. Looking forward to seeing more of these two. Hmm. They're being suspect. Yeah, she looks nice. That's some good brothers right there. Read the lawing. <laughs> I like these girls. I do like them. I'm not sure how um how far they're gonna go in this exam, unfortunately though. Oh god, the worst answer. Oh yeah. I was a little surprised there was no chaos or anything in in the restaurant with all those people there what are they doing these guys what exactly are they looking for? Obviously a warrior, but... Rasa. <laughs> really? That quickly? Goes off.
Wow. Yeah, not true at all. Yep. A lot of people think like that, don't they? I think this is one of those little moments. So there'll be three parts to these now. We've got two left. So I, I, it does seem like we might be all separate for the next one. Three days later. Sent. Wow. Well, that sounds terrible. Which one was sense? I reckon that's the, the dude or the, the girl. I don't know. <laughs> He's really trying. Who is this? Okay. Also, who is that? Yeah, which of these two scents? The girl, okay. Pacifist. So, what can we concur from, from that? What can we concur from this girl? Not much, honestly. <laughs> She's really... Like a lot of characters in this show, to be honest, she's a little distant seeming, isn't she? She's a little like, she seems far away, if that makes any sense. She says she's a pacifist. She almost strikes me as, that very much strikes me as being the case. She almost strikes me as being in like the middle of nothing, if that makes any sense. She's not awfully, I don't know, I think that just suits her, doesn't it? <laughs> a pacifist, which again, I, I think I can concur from that, that this test might not be as action heavy as the last might still have some kind of fights and such in but might be a bit more of an isolated test that uh, yeah again there's not too much we can get from that but it's going to be a very different test than the last one i think we know <laughs> it must be to like achieve something brilliant though because the fact that last four times she's done one no one's passed, like, how ridiculous must this be? <laughs> how ridiculous. Uh, maybe we will need some teamwork, even if, again, it is isolated to everyone to work on their own. 
plenty of people free around and fun can work with, which is good to hear. And again, we might actually really need it. Gargoyles. Mimic. So it might be like a dungeon. Conquering the Labyrinth. Is a dungeon raid. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I guess it is a little bit... It's, you could say it's a little bit more pacifist. Uh, it's everyone... It's going to be... I, my, my honestly goes to like dungeon crawlers and just like everyone. Kind of on their own. It, I imagine... Might be like sent out in a giant labyrinth and sat out in these kind of different positions and trying to find their way to the center um, is maybe what I'm thinking of here. Or maybe they've just got like, like go through floors, like floor one, four, two, four, three, and they'll start on four, one, but they're separate. But um, maybe they're not be set, might not be separate. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, sounds like it's going to be amazing. Uh, again, I'm kind of glad I'm not going to watch, I'm not going to watch the trailer uh for the second part because i think that'll probably spoil quite a bit of what's coming up and it sounds very interesting that doesn't it but yeah really good episode today like i said a little bit of a um of a more sweet uh less action heavy episode as we needed as i said the first the last three episodes have been absolutely insane so uh, it was really nice just having a, a chill time uh shame we didn't see as much stark as i was hoping for but uh nice to know he went on the little adventure right there with uh, some of the boys um again loved uh laureen and canna they're absolutely great but um, it was also nice seeing Denken's group have a bit of fun uh, learning a little bit more about how Ubel works and how her learning style works um, she's obviously trying to create a double of her own so I wonder if we'll see that succeed at some point but do let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date I'll be back next week with episode 23 which sounds like it's going to be absolutely amazing so can't wait for that and enjoy the rest of your day guys